think of wisdom versus intelligence. You know, wisdom comes from actually having experienced something, actually having taken the time to take action, and then from that action, having a reference experience where you can then, you know, give valuable input to someone in the form of wisdom from, you know, knowing how the full process is. Now, intelligence, on the other hand, you can read all you want, get all the research done, you know, watch all the YouTube tutorials, watch documentaries, read all the books, but you know, there's no action to back it. And you may know the full process, you may know all the steps, but that only goes so far because when it comes to actually going about it, there's so many in-field factors that the information itself doesn't accommodate for. You don't have the trial and error of you know testing something out, seeing how it goes. You've only heard end outcomes, maybe you know people's descriptions of it, but you haven't experienced it yourself. It's it's like uh, I take the analogy of driving a vehicle. You can watch a lot of YouTube tutorials, but until you have tested your skills on the road, you you won't be able to give a, a wise input. And the wisdom versus intelligence is more so. A lot of times people will hold merit. To intelligence they're like oh wow I have these accolades I've gotten this much know-how of this field this topic so I am knowledgeable I can now go forth and I can give value but in reality there's there's a certain extent of where you know you, you tell someone how to do something but then they won't be able to really understand how to do it until they start trying it out seeing you know how how the, uh, the, it goes, like take the old analogy of like learning how to ride a bike. You can tell someone, oh, move your feet in a circle and, and balance yourself and, and look around you, make sure you don't crash, and then you'll be all right. And you can tell them how, how much force to put down on the pedal, how much balance to focus their hands versus their shoulders versus their, their uh, uh, abdomen, torso, whatever. You can tell them like, how to, how to look, what safety equipment to use. But then if you put them on the bike, they're not gonna be able to ride the bike. Just, so that's like intelligence. You have all this intelligence, but it doesn't, like you still don't know how to do it. Versus wisdom, you know, say you didn't read about how to ride a bike, but you went out, you fell a few times, you, you crashed, you, you successfully made it up and down some hills, you know, you made it on off-road, terrain you know then you're like yo I got you when you're in this environment you do this when you're in that environment you do that when this happens you do this When that happens you do that and that is where the wisdom comes into play and it's like oh well huh that that seems like it's a lot more foolproof because it's been field tested you know they've been out there and done it and you know the wisdom versus intelligence it's not that one is better than the other it's more so that each has value but when it comes to, to wisdom, there's a little bit deeper value to it because there's actually, you know, take the scientific method that I love so much, you know, they've, they've taken their, their idea, they've field tested it, and now they have the results and they can modify and try different things. But the fact that they're actually taking action and, you know, getting into the, the, the action of living it instead of thinking about it, you know, they're being about it and that goes so much farther. And, you know, it's not about, you know, how much intelligence you have versus how much wisdom you have. They're just like two, two separate, separate things.